Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to clean a toaster. This will be an easy tutorial and a simple tutorial for cleaning the crumbs out of a toaster and cleaning the exterior surface of your toaster. Let's get right into the video. As you can see, I have a four slice toaster here. If your toaster has only two slices, then it's obviously gonna be half of this, but the process is gonna be very, very similar. You'll also notice that this toaster has all of these functions. It's a pretty advanced level toaster. It's a heavy duty toaster in my opinion. But even if your toaster is very basic, it's gonna involve the same cleaning process. First thing that you wanna do is unplug the toaster. Make absolutely sure that your toaster is unplugged, okay? We don't wanna work on a toaster ever when it's plugged in. Make sure that your toaster is unplugged. The next thing that you wanna do is locate your cleaning trays. In this toaster, and they're probably gonna be on, on the bottom somewhere, they, they can be underneath or towards the bottom on the back or the front. And this toaster, they're on the back. What you wanna do is remove those cleaning trays and you wanna do this over the sink. Um, I'm just doing this in the garage, so it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna sweep it up after. But take your cleaning trays, we're gonna put all the crumbs here so we know exactly how much we're cleaning. Take your cleaning trays and just empty them out like that. And then what you wanna do is just take a, either a wet rag or a wet paper towel like this. Just wipe them down, okay? Just like that, wipe the trays down. And you can already see how much, uh, how many, how much crumbs we're getting out. Uh, we have everything from you know toast crumbs to bagel crumbs, waffle crumbs, everything in between. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take so leave these to the side. You're gonna take your toaster and we want to flip it upside down and we want to shake it to remove all of the crumbs that the trays didn't catch. So flip it upside down. Okay. Give it a shake. You can actually hear all of the crumbs inside of it, okay? Side to side, front to back. Look at that. I mean, this is this is unbelievable, okay? So this toaster has not been cleaned in a very long time. Look at this. Look at that, okay? That's dangerous right there. So obviously, shake it, get all of those crumbs out. Obviously, I'm gonna, you know, I would do it even, even more, um, but uh, right now I'm just kind of showing you for the video. But like, you know what, let's keep going until we get the vast majority of them out. You can see I'm shaking it upside down and then back this way where the trays were, okay? Look at that, look at that. Okay, so we're gonna take this, we're just gonna sort of scoop it to the side. This is, this is a little bit, it's a little bit, you know, it's churning my stomach a little bit, but it's okay, it's, it's all good. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to put the trays back in, just like this, okay? Then we're gonna take our wet rag, we're gonna wipe the exterior, just like that. So we're wiping the exterior of the toaster, this is gonna clean the, uh, the material on the outside of the toaster, make it nice and clean. Um, you don't wanna use any dish soap or anything of that sort, just because um, you know it's gonna be hard, like we're just wetting this with water and then we're gonna allow it to dry. And last but not least, um, what we're gonna do, and I'm not gonna do this in this video, but you are, because I mean, I'm okay with not doing it, but you're more than welcome to do it, is if you want, you can take a toothbrush. And once again, make sure that your toaster is unplugged. Take a dry toothbrush and just sort of scrub it, to use it to scrub all of the grates right there. And when you scrub all of the grates, you're gonna clean the inside of it. And now what you wanna do is you wanna leave the toaster for at least 24 hours unplugged, okay? And that is to let everything dry. Since we are, since we are, um, you know, using water in this and we can't get in there to dry it, you wanna leave the toaster unplugged, set it aside for at least 24 hours. I would recommend, you know, 48 hours if you can, but at least 24 hours to let it dry. And then you can use it when it is absolutely clean. And that's basically it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to clean a toaster. If you take a look, this is what came out. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, if you don't clean your toaster, it can be a fire hazard because you have these dried breadcrumbs over here, okay? These dried crumbs 
right inside of uh, something that gets really, really hot. So you really want to clean your toaster as often as you can. This one has been sitting in the garage for a very long time. It hasn't been used in, in a very long time. Um, but uh, I mean, you should try and clean it once a month so you don't get a situation like this. This is definitely more than a month. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.